take elements of Paper Mario and 2D RPGs, mix them with some elements of your favorite Metroidvanias that you love and know over the years, and what do you get? You get the game that I'm about to talk about right now. What's going on my fellow Belmonts? It's the Mad Belmont here, and today I am here with you talking about yet another Metroidvania that's coming up, but it has a unique twist to it. Now, what is this game? This game is called Hollow and Veil. Vale. Okay, this is a game that is upcoming. There's no release date for it yet. Okay, but it is an upcoming game. It is a story-driven 2D adventure game with RPG elements from a time long past. Now, this game is confirmed to be releasing at least on Steam on PC. Okay, I have the Steam page up right here. This game looks incredible. You're pro you've probably been seeing some screenshots on loop here. This game has a Paper Mario aesthetic. You can definitely tell that. It's kind of like a Paper Mario meets Tim Burton kind of aesthetic. That's what I'm getting here. That's the vibe I'm getting. Okay. What if Tim Burton made a Paper Mario game and they mixed ele uh, Metroidvania elements in there? That's what I'm getting from this game. And I'm here for it. Weird combination with the Paper Mario elements and the Metroidvania elements. But weirdly enough, I am I'm here for it. My body is ready for this. Okay, so what is this game all about? Well, you'll find yourself below the surface amidst the vast ruin called the underground. In this interconnected world of foliage and machinery lay sprawling habitats, hidden villages, and mysteries to be solved. Within such a world comes a mesh of atmospheres and puzzles. At your discretion, you may discover unique and powerful resources, increasing your capacity for adventure. Witness a duet of ambitions. Follow Hollow, an ambitious adventurer from the surface, and Veil, the guardian of Interlude Village, as they attempt to reveal the secrets found within the underground. With clashing ideals, you may find they work better apart than together. Either way, their branching stories will unfold around your actions. Combine strategy and, and precision sorry, to survive. Take part in interactive turn-based battles that will not only test your decision-making and tactics, but your reflexes as well. Team up with indispensable partners and integrate one-of-a-kind cursed relics to set up devastating combinations. From what I just read there in that about section for this game, I am ecstatic for this okay i did not know i needed a paper mario slash metroidvania game in my life until i found out about this game now i do now i definitely do now i do have some thoughts here on the game what i love about this game is the fact that it is going out there and it is like a couple of metroidvanias that i mentioned earlier in the year it's taking that typical Metroidvania formula and it's mixing it with something that makes it unique. Something that makes it stand out from the rest. That's what you have to do in this time that we have now for Metroidvanias. Because there's so many coming out that you have to make yourself stand out from the crowd in order to get really any attention put on you. Because if you just play it safe and you go for another style, you know, of another game, you're just going to get automatically dismissed as a clone. This game is definitely making a bold choice here with the mixing of the Paper Mario, the, the 2D RPG elements, and the Metroidvania elements. And I love that, okay? I love that. Because right here, this... This first line here, take part in interactive turn-based battles that will not only test your decision-making and tactics, but your reflexes as well. I love 
having my strategic uh, senses tested. I love having my reflexes tested. So the fact that this game does both, love that, okay? And not to mention, there is a lot of people out there that basically dismiss turn-based RPGs mostly because it's just, oh, pick something from a command list and then you watch it play out. It doesn't really feel interactive to people, especially younger people, okay? Older people like me and like my buddy Colin, we grew up with a ton, a ton of turn-based games, so we're kind of used to the slower pace. We're used to uh, not being as interactive with the battles, okay, as like an action RPG, for instance, but I know a lot of people just aren't. They don't have the attention span for... Uh, turn-based RPGs, or they just, you know, don't have the patience for it, and I get that, but having it like this, having it to where, yes, you do have turn-based battles, but there's something to make you feel like you're interacting with it, that right there may prove to really, really help this game, and maybe even, uh, turn some people around on turn-based combat, because one of my favorite turn-based combat systems, actually, is in Shadow Hearts. I don't know if any of you know that game, but Shadow Hearts has this system called the Judgment Ring, and so when you select an attack in the game, a ring will pop up, and you have these zones, okay? These little zones that are represented by, like, colored cones or whatever, and if you do not hit them, okay, if you just choose not to hit them, or if you hit them in the wrong order, or something like that, then you just straight up miss your attack, so, if Pajama Town can implement that type of a style into this game, and really just, uh, hammer home the fact that, hey, look, if you don't pay attention right here, you're gonna fuck up, and you're not gonna like what you, uh, have to see here. I hope that they do go for something like that. If they don't, ah, eh, well, you know, can't, can't fault a man for trying anyway. But, yeah, if they go for that, oh my god, it'll be great, because it will add a little bit more of incentive to actually pay attention during the battles, because like I said, normally in turn-based RPGs, a lot of younger people and a lot of people with not a whole lot of patience, they just don't really pay attention. They just, they pay attention long enough to select what they have to select on the command list, and then they just don't pay attention to anything else. So, making it like this hopefully uh, promotes more engagement, okay? With the, with the battle system here. Now, another thing that really stood out to me about this game is... This game has two protagonists in it, but they're not together. Kind of odd. Kind of awkward there. Uh, usually, whenever you do have two protagonists in a game, you do tend... I said tend to put them together. Not this game. No, 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 this game is just like, no, you are, you're going to experience two different stories with each different protagonist, and I like the fact that there's branching paths in these storylines, you know, yeah, sure, having like one concise story is good, and all, there's been a lot of great games out there that have that type of storytelling, but I always think that there's a lot more potential when you have branching paths, when you can just make a decision and then it completely flips the script. I love it when games do that, so I'm glad that Pajama Town went for that with this game, okay? Now, what I want to see, what I want to see is <clears throat> how just how big is this game, okay? Because... From what I see here in these screenshots, there's going to be a lot of different areas. I want to know how big this map is going to be. Now, if it's not that big of a map, 
eh, it's not the end of the world, but I would love it if it was at least, you know, a decently sized map. Let me explore this, uh, let me explore this world, this underground area for a decent chunk of time, you know. But if that's not the case, oh well, so be it. You know, but it is an RPG, so it, that does tell me that there will be at least a decent amount of length to this game. So, I'm really looking forward to just seeing how huge the map is, okay? Um, another thing that really stood out to me about this game is the fact that there's going to be puzzles in here. Now, usually with RPGs, the puzzles... They're typically reserved for dungeons, so I'm curious to see, are there going to be puzzles in dungeons in this game? Are there going to be puzzles outside of dungeons? How are they going to implement that in this game? Now, I like me a good puzzle every now and then, but I feel like having one... I feel like having them a little bit too frequently can kind of kill the pacing of the game, so... Kind of curious to see where they go with the with that. Do they go with a lot of puzzles, a balanced amount, not enough? I don't know. I'm curious to see what they do there. I hope that they don't go too far into either having too many or not enough. Find a balance there. Find a balance there. Now, how can you support Pajama Town? How can you support this developer? Well... There is a few ways to do that. Number one, most important, there is a Kickstarter for this game. Now, it has not started as of yet, but you can go to the link in the description of this video and you can sign up to be notified when this Kickstarter goes live, okay? Another way that you can support them, go show them some love on Twitter. I'll leave, and on YouTube as well, okay? I will leave links to the, all of their social medias right down here in the description along with that Kickstarter link. Okay? So, yeah. Those are the ways that you can support Pajama Town here. And I think that if you're interested in this game and you want to play it, you should show them support. Okay? So, that is my thoughts. That's going to do it for the video here. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like on it, share it around, and if you're new to this channel, okay, hit that subscribe button. I make Castlevania and Metroidvania videos at least twice a week. You're definitely going to get more from me this week, but twice a week is what I aim for here, okay? And also, before I sign off here, okay, what do you think about this game? Are you excited for it? Are you not? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to discuss it with you. And remember, have fun on the hunt, my fellow Belmonts. I'll see you in the next video, and peace out.